so thank you for speaking to Urban Research and Small Enterprise. We would like to start with a brief about yourself and what is it that you do. Yes, hi, I'm Neza Alawi. I'm a social entrepreneur and uh, focus on creating impact uh, on women. So uh, for the past 15 years, uh, my organization and myself, we've been uh, focusing on women's economic development. And we recently launched a social innovation incubator called SII for women's employment. Uh, can you also tell us about Women Choice? What does it do? So Women Choice works with corporations, organizations and governments who want to uh, advance on women's empowerment. We help them with their strategy. We help them create and develop uh, women's focus programs. And um, that's what we do. Uh, you also mentioned the Social Innovation Incubator. Can you tell us about that and what does it do as well? The Social Innovation Incubator has three pillars, uh, an advocacy agenda to uh, connect uh, women with experts and, and our partners. We have uh, an impact uh, program that trains women social entrepreneurs in becoming uh, stronger in their journey, but also focusing and aligning with us on uh, generating employment for low and mid-income women. And uh, we have job readiness academies that uh, we're launching all over MENA region with, uh, in different sectors, but also in tech. <laughs> Okay, so you mentioned tech industry. What sort of role do these uh, initiatives play? Well, um, we count a lot on the tech industry because it's a progressive uh, industry. So uh, it's full of innovation and uh, we see uh, an urge in them to not make the mistakes that older industries have been making in terms of gender equality. So uh, we have them as partners. But as I said earlier in our, our job readiness academies, uh, we're launching soon um, an, a job readiness academy to take women with uh, coding skills and uh, build their capacities in AI, cybersecurity, and IT in general. Okay. So when you look when you look at the industry as a whole, there are so many programs that are uh, catering to women uh, professionals. So how are these programs different from those uh, programs which are already there? Well, um, thank you for the question because uh, I think that training is very important. So, so I congratulate all the training programs. But what differentiates us is that we're not just focused on program. Our KPIs are tied to the success and the employment that the women are going to generate after enrolling in our program. So, uh, so yes. Yeah, so, so for me, it's it's a program that goes beyond the training. And how can one become part of these uh, training programs? Is that a, a, what is the process of getting registered? Well, uh, you, you can find us on Instagram, uh, Women Choice by Meshad. You can find us on uh, LinkedIn. You can find us through my name. I'm very reactive on uh, social media. I have a community of uh, 3 million. And, uh, and on our website, of course. But um, the condition to... to uh, be eligible to be with us is to really want to um, to commit to creating social impact beyond the program. And uh, I would say that's the number one condition. Of course, we're supporting women that have a level of education, that have a level of, of expertise in their field. And um, yes, so that's, the, I think I would say commitment is number one <laughs> requirement. Uh, when were these programs started and um, how many uh, women have been uh, part of these, uh, the, these programs? So over the past decade, uh, I have impacted over 15,000 women that have enrolled in our several initiatives around the world in the US, in North Africa, Europe and uh, here in MENA region. And uh, we're launching our first cohort of the impact pro program in uh, September. Uh, with the first uh, uh, pilot of 20 women. Okay. Um, in terms of costs involved, um, is this self-funded? Uh, do uh, the participants actually have to pay any registration fees or is it through sponsorships? So we work a lot with sponsorships. We work with, uh, with um, uh, developing a landscape of partners at an institutional level, uh, public and private sector. Uh, the cost of the training, because it's beyond the six months, it's all the way to them achieving 
the 1,000 women employed, it's $6,000, but we don't want this $6,000 to be a barrier to women who want to commit to creating impact. So we are uh, constantly connecting these women to potential sponsors. Uh, so which markets do these programs cater to? We are based in UAE, but we are proactive all over Middle East and North Africa. Um, so in, in fall, next fall, uh, we have some uh, advocacy events happening in Cairo, in uh, Riyadh, in uh, Morocco, Doha. So uh, we, we, we try to, to move around all the region, but also uh, we recruit women from all the, the region. In terms of your commitment to the programs uh, for women professionals in this region, what are the other initiatives that you're running and uh, how do you uh, tie up with brands so that brands also support uh, the participants? Well, I, I told you about the three pillars, which keeps us very busy. Um, and, and I think that women's employment is, is a big topic here in the region because we're facing a lot of in, unemployment in general for both genders, but of course, women are, are much more touched by it. So uh, the, our way to, to tying to brands, so we have partners such as MasterCard, Logitech, Arab Women Authority. This is a project that has been designed with the, the advisory of uh, UN Women. Um, we're in discussions with uh, other prominent uh, brands in the region. We, we find it that brands are, are very much touched by our, our program and uh, we find different ways to connect with them depending on their own alignment of ESG. Uh, thank you for speaking to Ariban Reseller. Nice having you with us today. And uh, we look forward to speaking to you in the future as well. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.